Hello, so today I'm going to do a review and excuse the um, laser burns on the webcam. That's not dirt for everybody that always brings that up. I'm going to do a review of the Radex RD1503 Plus Outdoor, it says. So this is a nice orange Geiger counter. I managed to get one second hand from cash converters, um, weirdly enough. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite a nice little thing. But I will say in this, and you'll see in the video, it doesn't um, go to very high ranges. Because, you know, as somebody with one of these, that's going to overload it. Anyway, let's get it out and have a look. So you get it inside little boxes and, um, you know, um, packaging sort of, um, what you call it, bubble wrap around it with um, the instruction manual. So let's turn it on. So to turn it on, you hold down this button, the big button. There you go. And you get, so to get the menu up, you've got these two buttons, so basically use those three buttons to cycle through the menu. So you can have, you can select the units, so you can have it either in micro sieverts per hour or uh, micro rem per hour, and obviously a rem is a Rontgen equivalent man. So that is about a tenth of a sievert if I remember right, but again it's sort of, you know, you can have one or the other, up to you. I'll put it, for now I'll put it on the sieverts because that's what most people are familiar with. So okay, we've now got on the sieverts, so you can do levels, and that's basically I think the alarm sort of thing, where, um, let's see if I can get that in focus. So when it gets to 0.3 uh, micro sieverts per hour it sets that off, anyway we don't need to do that. So background. You can have, um, I think what the idea of the background thing is, so you can set it to measure local background radiation and then have that so it basically doesn't give a reading when it's background. So say your background 0.2 microsieverts, I think it measures that and then basically only shows you what's above background. Um, again, because I know radiation units quite well, I never bother with that, but that's quite a nice feature actually. Um, so we'll return from that one. There's setup and setup does basically sets up says you can have audio vibra call and backlight oh, let's put all those on just as a uh, thing so i have the backlight set to 30 seconds so that's basically if you want the vibration on and the backlight and i want those on because you know i'm not too concerned about battery life i'm more concerned with um you know having it all right for the video there's service, what does service do, let's have a look. That's just sort of the information on how to get your um, meter, you know, like sent off to be repaired. Right, so let's go back. So when you press the um, down button, that goes between the current dose, so as you can see that says it's 0 0.27 microsieverts per hour, and that's your accumulative dose, so that would be 3.76 microsieverts. So right, let's expose this to some radiation sources, because that's what you obviously want to see. So, we'll start off with um, a low power source. And I say low power, you know, in sort of um, inverted quotes, because obviously this is um, stuff that's um, good for actually making a guy counter tick. So what we have here is um, some radium watch hands. And I'm assuming, I don't know, but I'm assuming the Geiger Muller tube on this is either one of those two sides where the vents are. So beta can pass through it easily. So anyway, let's pop this here. Oh look, we've already overloaded it with my weakest sample. So yeah, this only goes up to 9.99, it seems, micro sieverts an hour. I thought it would actually go higher than that. Let me have a look in the menu just to see if there's a way I can actually make it go higher, but... If so, that's not very good. Bear with me a moment. Oh 
me just change it to um, micro rems just to see if it goes higher. So let's try the same sample again. And here we go. I'm on this am I on the wrong mode? Should be going up, but it's not. Okay, I think there we go. Now, weirdly, when I've played with this before, I'm sure I got it to go higher than that, but it's going up to 999 micro rem an hour. So, a micro rem is a tenth of a micro sievert, if I remember right. So, that's only, um, what, 99 micro sieverts, which is really low. It's a bit like those Chinese counters. Anyway, let's get another sample out just to test it. Obviously, I don't need to get my DB2 sample out if it um, overloads with just this. So there we go, a radium aircraft dial. So yeah, it only goes up to 999. So yeah, in micro sieverts, it suddenly goes up to 9.99, which is really low. That's even lower than the Chinese counters. So yeah, a quick review of this thing. It's a really well-made little counter, but it barely goes up, because obviously it's one for only measuring really background radiation. Because even like the basic Chinese counters normally up to 99.99 um, micro sieverts. And obviously, the really good counters go up to several Röntgen or whatever else, so, um, but yeah. One of these o overloads it really quickly. But I do like that it vibrates, you know, that is a nice feature. But yeah. So anyway. Um, an old World War II aircraft dial will overload this counter. Um, but I still like it. Like I said, it's only like a background level meter, but it's quite sensitive what it is. It's got a really nice little case. It's very, very lightweight. You charge it up via um, a little USB port in the top. Or, you know, you put replaceable batteries in it. And as I said, for what it is, it's nice, but the range on it isn't very good at all. Because, you know... That overloads it. And that's without even looking at the bad boy in here. Again, that's why it's in two bits of glass to um, shield it. But yeah, I like it for what it is, but bear in mind that this has barely any radiation range on it whatsoever. It only goes to nine, um, it's essentially ten micro sieverts. And ten micro sieverts is only like 50 times background radiation, so that's not really anything. You know, a lot of radiation samples will always be above 10 microsieverts. Just as a quick thing, let's have a look. I wonder if my Fiesta way will overload this. Because I think even Fiesta wear is um, pretty close to um, 10 microsieverts. Yeah, so even Fiesta wear overloads this. So yeah, it can't even um, give you an accurate reading on Fiesta wear. So yeah, it's, it's, it's not a very good meter in terms of high range, but it's at least very well built for what it is. So you know, if you can get one cheap like I did as a second hand trade in from a person with lots of depths, then um, yes, I would recommend it. But in terms of com something like compared to um, a Radius scanner or a Therapy Plus, no, don't bother. 